Hey everyone, John here with DroidLessons.com and for today's lesson I'm going to show you how to navigate the Android market. The Android market is your one-stop shop for all your apps, widgets, wallpapers, things of that sort. Anything new that you want to install on your phone you're going to want to go through the market to get. So if you're a beginner the market might seem a little confusing at first but it's real simple and I'm going to show you how to how to navigate around there. So first things first, you want to launch that market icon on your phone. Usually that'll be located right on your home screen where we are here. Um, if it's not on your home screen, you can check some of the other screens. There's a chance it might be on one of the other home screens, not the main one. If for some reason you don't find the market icon, which is right down here, if you don't find that on any of your home screens, you can also check the app drawer which is uh, located right here. It's the circle with a little arrow there. You click there and then you'll, all your other applications will pop up that are installed on your phone. And you can scroll down and look for market. And there it is, market. So that's how you get to it if for some reason it's not on your main screen. So I'm gonna click market and once the market pops up here you're gonna see that uh, you have a couple of options um, first things you're gonna to wanna to see up here is a nice little ribbon that shows you some popular apps that Google suggests so these are just some apps that you can scroll through with your finger left to right and it shows you a little icon and sometimes it'll be a little bit uh, hard to see what exactly the app is so you have to just scroll left to right to see what exactly the icons for and I accidentally clicked that one so I'm going to click back to go back to the main screen but uh, yeah so you can scroll up here in the ribbon and look for some apps that way another option you have here is you can see that there's categories apps here's games and this is uh, your phone carrier mine is Sprint so it says Sprint there and that'll if I click here that'll be apps that my carrier recommends so these are these will be apps that Sprint recommends for their users and I can scroll up and down and take a look at them I'm going to click the back button to return back to the main screen and here we are again so uh, again so this this is the category for apps there's games if I want to check out uh, a certain game I can click games here and I can click all games, arcade and action, brain and puzzle, cards and casino, casual. If I scroll down, then I also have live wallpapers, sports, and widgets. So if I'm looking for a certain type of app, say if I was looking for an arcade game, I can go into arcade here and see what's available. And now, by default it just went to the top paid category so these are apps that you actually have to pay for they're not free if you've never purchased an app what happens if you uh, click on one of these and you try to purchase it'll actually ask you for your credit card if you try to install one me I like free apps so uh, top free is the category I'm usually on oops click the wrong button there top free oh, keep clicking the wrong button sorry top free and here it's going to list the apps that are free in arcade and action so you can scroll through here and see if there's anything that interests you also you see here there's a category called just in those are apps that just made it to the market so they're fairly new they haven't been used by many people yet but uh, if you're looking for the latest and greatest, you can check in just in and see if there's anything new that just came out. So if I want to go back, now I can click the back button here. And now I can go into a different category in games. If I want to search through all games, I can just click all games. And this will list everything that's available. In top paid, that's if I want to pay for apps. or top free and scroll up and down here and take a look 
I'm going to click the back button to go back. Click the back button one more time. And now it takes me back to the main Android Market screen. And here now I demonstrated Sprint, Games. Now we're going to want to check out Apps. So I'm going to click Apps. And now here it gives me the categories for apps. We have All Applications, Books and Reference, Business, Comics, Communication, Entertainment, Finance, Health and Fitness, Lifestyle, Live Wallpapers, Media and Video. As you can see, there's tons of different categories here for apps. If you're looking for something in specific, just scroll through here, find the category you're interested in, and search through those apps. If I click All Applications here, I can see the top paid. These are the top paid ones. Top free. These are the free ones. Again, this is my favorite category. I don't like to pay for apps, I like the free ones. And just in. And again, these are the apps that just made it to the market recently. And just scroll up and down until you find something that interests you. Now, say if we were in top free and we find an app that interests us, like say we find the Weather Channel here. That's something that interests us. We want to know the weather uh, in our area, so we can click the Weather Channel. And now here, it'll give you some more information about that app. You'll see here that it's free. You'll see that it has four and a half stars here, as rated by users. And here, after you install the app, you have the option to rate it. So you can rate it and tell people what you think about it. And here's description. This is the description of the app. If you want to see more, you click more. It gives you a little bit more of a larger description here about what the app does. You can scroll down a little bit more. And here it tells you how many times this app has been downloaded. It says more than 250,000 times. So that's, that's a pretty popular app. Usually if an app has been uh, downloaded that much, you know it's a pretty reliable and a good app. Here are some pictures of the app. If you want to take a closer look, you can click it and it gives you a little demo of what that app looks like. I'm going to click the back button to go back and it takes me back to my last screen and if I scroll down even farther I'll get to the reviews section and this is uh, reviews that users have written and you'll also have the opportunity to write a review after you install the app but you can scroll through here and just take a look and see what people are saying about the app and if you want to see more, you can also click more and see more comments. So I'm going to click back to go back. And if I scroll down even farther, there's a section called Related. And this is where apps that are similar to the one you're looking at are listed. So these are pretty much Weather Channel's competitors, in case you want to take a look at something else. And then you have Developer Info. And this is where you can take a look at the apps other apps that the same company makes. So if you want to see more apps from the Weather Channel, you can click View More Apps. And if they have other apps, there you go. Dish Network Weather or the Weather Channel. Those are the two that they offer. I'm going to click back to go back. And that's about it here. Now, on the bottom is also flag as inappropriate. So if you find an app that you think is inappropriate, you can click here and let Google know about it. So if you feel something's offensive and it somehow made it to the market, this is where you would want to click. Now I'm going to click back to go back. Click back one more time. Now I'm back in all applications. I'm going to click back one more time. Take me back to the main screen. And there we are. Now we're back on the main screen. Now, say if you're looking for a specific app and you don't know what category it's in or you don't want to have to go through all the hassle of going through all these different categories, if you know the name of the app, all you have to do is click the little search icon, which is located on the top right. No matter what screen you're on in the Android market, say if you're in apps, if you're in all applications, you'll notice the, mic uh, the search button up here, which is a little magnifying glass, is always available. 
So regardless of where you are, if you decide you want to look for a specific app and you know the name of it, you can just click that little magnifying glass, which is the search button, and then type in what app you're looking for. For example, say I was looking for Angry Birds and I don't want to go through the hassle of going through all these different categories. Angry Birds is a game that I know is very popular. So I'm going to type it in, Angry Birds, and then I can click Enter to search. And then everything in the market by the name of Angry Birds will appear on my screen. And I can look for the one that I was interested in and then click install. So if I was interested in, let's see if I can find it, Angry Birds Season, which is a game, I could click right there, and here it is. And if I want to install it, I would just click the free button, and here it would tell me uh, the permissions, what permissions are needed for this application. This one doesn't require much except full internet access. If I'm okay with that, I would click OK. And then there it goes. Your item will be downloaded. So right now the app is being downloaded. If I wanted to take a look at it, I could pull down the notifications uh, tab up here. And here it shows me it's being installed. Once it's done being installed, it'll prompt me. And it'll also become available in my All Apps drawer. So if I click Home, and then click the All Apps drawer, which is right here, the little circle with the arrow. Angry Birds will become available right on my app screen. So I can click Home, and now I'm back to my main screen. Again, if you want to go to the market, you just click the Market button. And if you want to search, you just click the Search button up there. If you want to go by Categories, you just press the Back button. So you get to back to the main category of the Android market here and here you can choose the categories. And that's pretty much it for navigating the Android market. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. You can leave a comment below or shoot me an email. I want to thank you for watching this lesson and look forward to seeing you again. Please make sure to visit droidlessons.com. Thank you.